Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, thanks for stopping by. Nate and I kind of have an interesting video for you. And that is, does putting an intake on your car actually add more horsepower? And the way that we're gonna find that out, is we're gonna use our dyno and we're gonna use our focus. What? Oh, I'm looking for bolts on the ground. It's not, it's not about being blind. Hey, should we do both tunes to see if the stock intake and the intake intake, like the Cobb one, makes more horsepower? Oh, we've never dynoed that tune. No. It was gonna be like maybe just the stock intake and the Cobb intake, but maybe we should try the Cobb intake and the stock intake, both with the bass tune and a, a tune, see if it really makes a difference to add an intake to that with a tune. I don't know. I also have kind of a low tire pressure thing going on. I can't find the gauge. I might have one in my in my car, so let me see. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this before, but this is my old custom shift knob here, and in the light, it's, uh, it's kind of rainbow. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it looks really cool. I currently have the stock one on because this is just way too heavy. This is two pounds, so I really didn't want to keep that on. Here we go, <laughs> two hours later. I mean, can we leave the tires flat? Because more grip? I think that means yes. Nate found it. There we go. Are you ready? Yes? Straight. I hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving. I forgot to say that at the beginning of the video, and I'm sorry. Ooh, dude, first fill up. I almost got it right there. There, 36 was the final number. That was perfect. That didn't go wrong at all. Oh, we overcooked her. Oh, uh, I didn't. Look at that. Oh, perfectly on 36. <laughs> Look at that. One try. <laughs> right on the dot. First time. Oh, that didn't happen. All right, she's good. Pull out. Yeah, there we go. All right. Should be a happy focus now. Okay, dino time. I cut this out because I didn't want to bore you guys with installing the intake again. But we have the factory intake back on the car. Now we're gonna go throw it up on the dyno and see how much horsepower the factory intake makes on the factory tune. Go down to tune, change ECU map. That's not say zero. Mm, no, oh wait, maybe it is, yeah, yeah. Up. A little bit more forward. Stop. Right there. Perfect. Woo. That was your first time, wasn't it? Fist bump these. Fist bump my peeps. Yeah. Normally when we hook cars up, I'm the one who is doing all the straps. Thanks for doing that. I appreciate that. I'm underpaid. It's, <laughs> it's really, I don't pay you. So they think. No, that doesn't happen yet. For now, you strap my cars for free. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Fire her up. Stock intake. You wanna hit the fans? Yeah, yeah. Got him on high for high horsepower. It's been a minute since she's been on the dyno, but there's one thing I remember. That thing is really, really loud. I'm probably gonna try to cover my ears, but it's probably not gonna work. Yeah, that's as loud as I remember. Really fucking loud. That hurt my ears. Dude, you think it's at its loudest and all of a sudden it goes and starts really screaming. This should make me unbiased to say that this is probably one of the worst sounding four cylinder cars at higher RPMs. Do you agree with me there, bud? On um, RPM? Yeah. Yeah, it gets so blatty. It's just, yeah, it's, it hurts it's, your ears. It really does. But uh, it's good though. But. Yeah. That's not oil, by the way. That's all carbon buildup coming off my tips, so not oil. 
Is that, is that safe for it to black smoke like a diesel? Yeah. Yeah? yeah it's, it's just, just saving it? It's a GDI engine, so the Ford calibration too from the factory runs a little on the richer side. I forgot, why don't we go look at the graph? As you can see, we're making 1.3 STDs. I'm sorry, 1.03 STD. That was about what it was uh, when we had first done this though, about 258. I think it was like 255, but yeah. max power, 258, 70. Max torque, 294. That's pretty decent. Now we should load on the... Oh, dude, look at how foggy it is back here. That's what it should be around like 320 or 330. Yeah. We used to have a super hot tune on it, making like 378 torque or something like that to the wheels. And that was just, that was a little questionable. We gotta put this up and just like, try to do some stuff, mm -hmm. but then your clutch. Yeah. I wouldn't want to try anything on this clutch. Just a little bit too scary. You guys know I used to like those dragon tees. Well, guess what? They might be seasonal, so I gotta settle for the settle for the normal tee, the normie tee. I don't get my cool JDM monster anymore. Oh yeah, check out these bad boys. These are from Pure. Look at how big that compressor is, and it's really cool. They also put their little their P logo on it. See right there, nice little P. I wish uh, I wish I had the balls and the money to do it to that thing, but. I don't, and uh, we're not gonna have the car forever, so. If I did, that'd be a fun, fun yeah, brother. I might do it. All right guys, we got the new tune on. This tune is uh, the semi-spicy tune. We're gonna see how she does, and then I'm gonna pop that old intake off, and then we're gonna really see if an intake does give you more horsepower. Hit it. Yeah, much more spicy. Almost 360 wheel torque and 266 horsepower. That's not yeah, a lot of that's... horsepower, bro. No, uh... I think previously we were in the same area just because these cars don't hold a uh, hold boost out up top, and I didn't add any timing in your tune whatsoever up top. So this is stock timing. Okay. But now we'll find out. Will it gain any horsepower with an intake? So here's the stock is in the blue 296 torque with a tune is 354 torque. With a tune, 266 horsepower. Without a tune, 258. Now we take it down and swap the intake. Oh my god, that's right. We have to take it off the dyno. Oh my god. You guys better like this video because it's super annoying to put a car on the dyno one time, let alone two times, and take the intake off twice. So please drop a like on this video and leave a comment. Comment, uh, Focus STs don't make any power. They make a lot of torque. <laughs> yeah, they do. They make, they make plenty of torque. Which is, uh, which is the fun part of driving this car, really. I mean, you want all the torque because you're not going to be going like a thousand miles per hour everywhere. You don't need the horsepower to get you up there. Stop. Straight. All right. And back over to here. So we can put this back on for the second time in its life. Nate and I have been cruising through this. We only started taking this intake off like five minutes ago, but as you guys might've seen the first time we tried to take the intake off, it just took a thousand years. But now that we're experienced and that we did it before, we can go straight through it and it'll be a breeze. All right, okay, Ta-da! we're done. That took us like 15 minutes to put the whole thing on or take the whole thing off and put it back on. So that's pretty cool because the first time it took us like an hour. Now that we have the cob and take on, we're gonna throw it back up on the dyno. <sighs> Sorry, that was for myself. But we're gonna do the stock tune and then we're gonna do the uh, tune from Nate from Six Element. It's time for round two. We got the cob and take. She's on the dyno. Nate, do your thing. I think I'm gonna uh, stand at the front of the car this time. I kind of want to get noise of the new intake, so. Hopefully the fans don't like drown that out, but I think I'm gonna stand like right here and get some noise of the, the intake for you.
drive, I guess. All right, so that didn't record our run there, so we're gonna have to do it again. We lost four torque and 0.5 horsepower. So no difference. So no difference. I was afraid that might happen, but hey, this is science in the works here, and everybody who said it would. But so we ran it at the same temperatures each time, so everything's yeah. the exact same. Yeah, so everyone who said that it was not gonna make more power, you are right. It does not make more power adding an intake to this car. That good temperature though. But we okay. should run it with a tune just in case adding a tune to your car and having an intake. Yeah. More boost pressure, more flow. More benefit maybe? Let's see. Maybe. Let's find out. Find out on next week's episode. Oh, next week. Bye. No, I'm kidding. Yo, Darth Jeep Ventures. I don't think you're ready for this focus, man. All of it's 250 horsepower to the wheels. Maxwell might get you, especially if he's running at maximum horsepower. You're not laughing. I know. <laughs> now we are doing the Cobb intake with the tune on it. So maybe a tune will add some horsepower with an intake. Maybe not. We're about to find out. This is with the tune. So. That's with, wait, what? That's with the tune? Wow. Wow. It's not that big of a difference. We're but it run lost it. We're gonna run it again when it's cooler because okay. the temperature was off oh, slightly. Okay, okay, right. Yeah, so I wanna let it cool down a minute. We let the uh, car cool off for about 10 minutes or so. We're gonna start her back up. Hopefully she's a little bit colder. Should get lower temps, which might mean more horsepower. But yeah, we're gonna start her up as attempt number two with the tune and the cob intake. like a lot so less number two. Oh wow almost yep. identical all right ladies and gentlemen well that proves it right there it literally does not do anything at yeah, all there's no statistical difference between these two at the same temperature yeah no well yep. Cobb intake great sound modification but nothing for power which Dude, if I looked at I these were back to back like look at how close they yeah are. they were really close yeah. all right well I guess that proves it. It literally does not do anything to add horsepower. It is purely for sound. So that's mainly why I got this, knowing that um, a lot of people were telling me that it wasn't gonna make any more power than I, than I currently had. But I think it was cool. We learned, we all learned something. This was for science, so. It's all about the sound, really. I yeah. mean, you got a turbocharged car. You, you wanna, wanna hear, hear it, man. man. Yeah. Gotta hear it. All right, well, I think now, that is it. I'm just gonna pull the car off the dyno. Sell it. We're gonna head home. Yeah, we're gonna sell it. Get rid of it. No horsepower. We need a Maxima. Get all the horsepower yeah, so I can sauce horsepower. everybody. Get in the car. Okay. Well, if you made it this far into the video, then I have some news for you. Usually I know all my OGs stay this far into the video, so you guys get a little sneak peek as to what may be coming in the future. So you guys know Lover Media, that's like my like media brand. That's, I don't know, it's a baby. It's a little nugget of an idea right now. I like to do a lot of cinematic filming of cars and just all that stuff. I am meeting up with somebody in the next few weeks 
who has an R34 GTR, which is, if you know, a GTR is one of my dream cars to own because I'm really into JDM cars. So to be able to be like up close and personal with one, and it's really rare too, it's a four door. So I know a lot of you might not even know that a four door R34 exists, but they do and you will see it. And I will be going home for Christmas and I'm gonna be doing a vlogging days with my real like real OG friends Evan Jake and Jared <laughs> and uh, I'm really excited for that so and oh my god I have so many new things for you guys I'm, I'm getting new lenses for Christmas and it's gonna be freaking sick and I have uh, a friend back at home who has a WRX STI type RA which is super rare and really cool and I'm gonna be filming a video with her too and it's gonna be so fucking sick. I am so, so, so hyped for that. So if you're an OG and you made it this far, or if you're a new OG because you made it this far, go into the comment section and put a big fat, I am an OG and I stay till the end of Ben's videos. Yes, I said a fat one, big bold lettering, I'm an OG, put it down there or not if you don't wanna be an OG, it's up to you. I'm gonna end the video here and you know, I, I think I'm gonna stop doing this. I'm gonna start doing Let's do fist pumps. Like, like when I fist pumped you guys earlier in the video. And I'm gonna try to not like punch the camera too hard. So, you know, just fist. All right, I'm out of here. Goodbye. Don't, don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna take that back. Now we're out of here.